Hello everyone, this is Dan. I'm in Shanghai, China right now. And today I'm going to eat all three of my meals at a local family mart. And family mart has been very good at being localized. And I'm expecting good things from them. So let's go check it out. Oh, by the way, to make things more interesting, I'm going to keep my budget under 10 US dollars for all three of my meals. All right, let's go. All right, guys, just got my breakfast and lunch here. So I spent about $51 and we'll go home and check it out. Breakfast time. Now I got five items from Family Mart. Milk tea, barbecue chicken, New Orleans flavor rice roll. This old nigiri, wasabi salmon flavor. And I got two steam buns. Let's tear it in the pot and see what's inside. Oh, so this is the tofu bun. You have some greens, glass noodle, and tofu. This must be a sweet bun. Wow! Wow, look at the cost of goodness. Uh, I think this is a um, potato yen. Now let's try tofu bun. Oh! Wow! It's a nice surprise! I thought it's gonna be the regular tofu, but this is actually golden fried tofu. So you get extra texture for that fried, a little crunchy, uh, a little bouncy tofu. But I wish they had a little more filling, but the tofu actually tastes pretty good. Mm. Next, let's try the sweet bun. I mean, a steam bun, you have to eat it first. Otherwise, they become kind of soggy and dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's purple potato yam. It's really creamy. Potato yam flavor is very strong. Wow, this is actually a nice dessert. Mmm. Mmm. Not so sweet. You get a creamy potato yam flavor. You know, it's like eating a sweet potato yam in the bun. Nice. Little thirsty. Let's drink. Oh, you can see that it has design to it. Looking pretty good. Okay. Oh, chocolate milk tea. This is the taste I'm familiar. It's very good. I like it. Next, let me try this old nigiri, wasabi salmon flavor. So there's a trick to open in this, so on the top here, this is the red tag, you pull on it, open it in the middle, and then you grab the bottom two sides, and just slowly pull it up. 
slowly pull up. Fresh seaweed every time. It's still crunchy. Let's have a bite. Mm. The outside seaweed is really crunchy. You get a slight saltiness, a little oceany flavor. And the rice still tastes fresh. It's a little cold, so a little bit hard, but it still works well with the seaweed. And the inside, you, get, you do get a little bit of wasabi taste uh, with the creamy salmon. Let me take a bigger bite and show you what's inside. Mm. You can see the, uh, the orangish uh, salmon pieces with the horseradish or wasabi. It actually tastes kind of like horseradish to me, but it's good. I mean, love it. You can't go wrong with the onigiri at 7-Eleven or Family Mart. And next, we're gonna go try this gigantic uh, rice roll. You need to heat it up, 900 watt for 60 seconds. So let's go heat it up. Okay, and back. Just heat it up, the rice roll. Oh, it's hot. Oh, wow. You have a layer of seaweed and then thick layer of rice. And in the middle, it's a slice of the chicken thigh, I think. And you can see this generously sauced. Okay, let's have a bite. Wow, this is amazing. If the outside seaweed were to be a crispy one, it'll be even better. But you know, you get a soft heated rice and the really flavorful chicken, New Orleans flavor, a little spicy, a little sweet, nice, nice flavor. This New Orleans flavor is actually uh, very popular in China. And the chicken is not dry at all. It's still moist and tender. Ah. Mm. Like it. There's also a small piece of lettuce. It's too small. I didn't get to it. Mm. Still crunchy. So that was breakfast. Satisfied. Yeah, pretty good breakfast at Family Mart. Okay, I can't wait for lunch. All right, finally lunch time. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Okay, so for lunch, uh, I got this local soda water, drumstick and thigh bento bar, chocolate roll cake, sticky rice with wrapping paste. First, drink of soda. Not overly sweet, very refreshing and peachy. Nice. Now, itadakimasu. Bite into this. When you first bite into it, skin is a little fatty, so you get the juice from the skin right away. And it's seasoned very generously with the uh, so-called New Orleans barbecue flavor. And the, the meat is really tender and moist. It feels like it has been in a pressure cooker for ages. And in China, they call this the hen gang leg. Because, you know, it just looks like a hen gang if you hold it. Pew pew, pew pew, bang! You know, hen gang. Now let's see the other stuff that comes with the chicken leg. Okay, we'll have a rice with a little bit of tofu. The rice is on the sticky side. Nothing special, but you know, about average quality. This tofu is actually very flavorful, it's spicy. Actually, you, have, you, can, you can eat a lot of rice with this tofu. Mmm, the slice of ham. Nah, not very good. Let me finish this, then we'll get right to dessert. Okay, now <clears throat> let's move on to our dessert. I think I will have to try the chocolate roll cake first. It's nice, soft, bouncy. Mm. Oh. So 
light and creamy. It's like bite into a chocolatey cloud. The the cake gives just right amount of support. Mm. I gotta give a thumbs up. For family my dessert this cake is really on point the second dessert this is a traditional chinese sticky rice bowl it's really really sticky if you like mochi you're gonna love this the outside is sticky rice but i think they mix with chinese herb to make it green it does have a little bit of those herby taste a little chewy but soft and bouncy at the same time. It's pretty flavorful. Wrapping paste is not too sweet, it's smooth, and it goes really well with the sticky shell. Oh, you can see how sticky this is. Wow. Yeah. You can tell if this is a good moji part about how long it stretches. You can see, wow. I just can't get it off my hand now. So, yeah, that was a great lunch. It's very satisfied from Family Mart lunch. Is that weird? Family Mart does have a lot of offerings. I can't wait for dinner now. Dinner time! Yay! Finally! Wow! So after a long day, what are you gonna have for dinner? So for breakfast and lunch, we had Bento box, we had rice roll, we had steamed bun, and we had some good dessert. How about a good bowl of pork ramen noodle? So I decided to try out the Family Mars pork ramen noodle soup. And to make the noodle more complete, I also got a tea egg. So most people will eat soft boiled egg with their ramen noodle, and Family Mart does have soft boiled egg, but I mean soft boiled egg so yesterday you in China try something new try the tea egg but to be honest the soft boiled egg was too expensive I ran out of budget because you remember I only have 71 Chinese yen for the entire day and I spent about 51 Chinese yen for on breakfast and lunch so I only got 20 Chinese yen left this cost 14.8 this cost 2 and I have a secret dessert that costs 2.9. So we got a big bowl of noodle soup with our tea egg. Let's try the tea egg first. Hmm? You can taste uh, the tea broth that they use to boil the egg. This is actually very nice. Let's try the different egg that we have here. I mean, to be honest, it just tastes like what you will get at McDonald's. Let's try the roasted pork. Mmm. Roasted pork is pretty flavorful, on point. It's a little bouncy, but it's still tender. And it does have the roasted flavor. Nice, nice. Let's try the vegetables. Mm. Vegetable is just water boiled. Now, the true test comes when we try the broth. The broth is just okay. I think the broth does have a little bit of the, uh, the porky meaty flavor. I will just give it maybe 5 out of 10 on the soup. Let's try the noodles. Mm. I think if I didn't overcook the noodle, the noodle will be just fine. We still got a chewiness to it, soft, a little bouncy. Overall, I mean, this is definitely not as good as what I was expecting. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this noodle, and we'll get to dessert right away. Now it's dessert time, yay! Dinner is not complete without my ice cream. And today, we have the special black beer ice cream from Family Mart. Oh look, it's a cute beer bottle. Cheers. Open the cap first. Nice milky, chocolatey flavor. Mm. There's something inside too. On the outside, the black, 
I think mostly tasting chocolate flavor. On the inside, there's a different, little different texture, more icy texture. And on the center, is the melty, beery goodness. It's a little bit too sweet for me. If they made it a little bitter, a little more beer y, then that would definitely uh, be a very good ice cream. Mmm. Wow. I mean, nothing beats a good ice cream after dinner. Dinner is finished. Let's sum it up. Breakfast? I like it. The rice roll with the big piece of chicken in there? Highly recommend it. And uh, the milk tea was also good. Those were the same taste as my childhood memory. Uh, the two steam bun was good too, especially the sweet one. And the onigiri, a little cold, but still quality. For lunch, we had a big chicken leg bento box. The chicken leg was on point. Highly recommended. Refreshing peachy soda. Worth a try. And for the dessert, man, that was the highlight of the day. The chocolate roll cake. The cream just so light, fluffy chocolate cake. It's like eating the cloud. And for dinner, well, I've got to say, uh, the ramen noodle wasn't that good. It's just, you know, maybe 5 out of 10. Uh, but probably because I cooked it for too long. The roast pork was good. The tea egg was good. And we end on a high note with our good ice cream. So next time you come to China, you don't know what to eat, go to Family Mart. You won't regret it. All right, that's it for this time, guys. If you like my video, remember to click subscribe button. I have so much amazing new videos coming up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.